start seeing my mo monsieur. They get mad. Boom. My ex is now my stepsister and my son is now my nephew. Welcome to West Virginia, y'all. Is that what they call a mountain mammoth over there? The outcome was dramatic and incredibly tragic. I had a colleague once who drunkenly confessed to sleeping with her stepbrother. Eventually it developed into a serious relationship. Her parents got to know and desperately tried to get them to break up. Colleague ended up dating her stepbro in secret. It's an open secret in the office at this point. Awkward, because the stepdad was also in upper management. Anyway, her parents find out again and try to get them to break up a second time. It all gets rather public and ugly and quite embarrassing for her mom and stepdad who are now senior figures in the industry running their own company. Colleague tells us that she's been given ultimatums from her mum this year. Doesn't describe what they are. Suddenly, she stops showing up to work and emails her resignation. She tells HR that she's moving to the US to find some peace. Colleague also texts some folk at work to tell them that she's had enough of the drama and moving away. A few weeks pass and there's no news from her until her stepbro boyfriend starts contacting all her work friends. I wasn't contacted but some of my teammates so Stepbro is desperately trying to get in touch with her she's broken up with him via text. He wants to know if anyone's heard from her. He doesn't believe that she now lives in the US and that she'd go without telling him as year. Everyone writes him off as a guy who couldn't handle the rejection until he goes to the police and files a missing persons case. Police actually made a few inquiries to everyone's supreze. It doesn't happen often because they usually DGAF. This is still a developing country after all. In the end the cops write the step row off as a lovesick loon and everything settles down. For a while at least. Step bro has gone crazy, now claiming that he thinks something bad happened to her. Says he's fallen out with his parents over it. No one at work wants to get involved in this family drama. Especially since the parents are important people. Things die down again, until they don't. Fast forward two years and no one's heard from our colleague, until the cops come calling. They've arrested her mom's chauffeur on an unrelated charge and he confesses to murdering our colleague. Even leads them to the body. He doesn't however reveal a motive. He must have been stalking her think the police until they investigate further. Our colleague never went to the US. Turns out the emails she sent weren't from her either. They were sent after her death. The texts, the emails and the breakup were all from her mom year. She covered her tracks after she orchestrated the murder of her own daughter. All because she wouldn't stop dating her stepbrother and was going to marry him as year. Sorry for the bad grammar, English isn't my first language. I'd forgotten some detail. The colleague's mum always had a strained relationship with her daughter. At social events she often claimed to be her sister, through everyone knew it wasn't true. I think bio dad was also involved in the murder somehow. The whole thing was one giant clusterfuck. This is it, the most fucked up one in here. It's time I leave this thread. Thank you for sharing. Technically my step cousin, my mom married his uncle. We met as adults and hooked up quickly after meeting. We're married. Whenever someone asks how we met, I just tell them he's my cousin. Meeting at the family reunion is a tale as old as time. My parents used to be step-siblings. My mom was six, dad was 12 when my mom's mom married my dad's dad. My dad lived with his mom primarily though, and they never spent much time together. I think my grandparents were married for six to ten years or something like that before they divorced. When my mom was about 20, dad was 26 and he asked her out. They've been married for like 35 years. The complicated bit is that I have an aunt that was born from the marriage of my maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather, so my parents share a half-sibling, but they're no longer step-siblings. Edit, rephrase the sentence for clarity. Also, guys, there are plenty of other southern hillbilly ass states aside from Alabama. Unless I'm missing a reference to something.
That being said, every generation beneath my great-grandparents on both sides has been born and raised in CA. Although funnily enough, my aunt did move to a southern state when she got married. I like to joke that she complicates the family tree so they kicked her out at a family event. So is she your aunt on your mom's or your dad's side? Uh, and GT, so is she your aunt on your mom's or your dad's side? Yes, my dad was banging my mom's sister and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes, Florida. Oh dear, a guy the first knew. While we were both early teens, had a huge crush on a girl who was a close friend of his family. Then, her parents both died in a car accident, and his parents had agreed to adopt her if such an incident were ever to occur. His mom was kinda weird and made him start calling her sister, and none of his family knew he was head over heels in love with this girl. Or if they suspected a crush they pretended not to. What they for sure didn't know was that by high school, they were secretly banging almost every night. I lost touch with them during high school, and I want to know what ended up happening with them so badly it drives me crazy to think about. Edit. To the million people asking me to track them down now. I tried years ago but literally the only thing I have to go off of is his name. We only hung out for a few years. And it was because my mom and his mom were work friends who hung out outside of work a lot during that time. I don't know what school he went to or what church they went to. I don't remember his school friends' names. I'm only about 70% sure I'm even remembering the girl's name correctly. The only avenue I could think of exploring is asking my mom what her former co-worker's name is or if she remembers where they moved to. But that's a really weird question to bring up 15 years later so I don't really plan on going that route. I just gave his name another search. But it's a fairly common name and without more to go off of it's sort of impossible to find a match on social media. Sorry to disappoint. Have you tried toss the names on social media and see what shows up? I tried years ago with no luck. He has a fairly common name and I don't know where he lives now. My sister gave our stepbrother a blowjob on one end of our wrapper round couch. With our grandmother asleep on the other end. Spoiler alert, she woke up. We had some fucked up family dynamics, edit. I've answered these in the comments but for anyone who doesn't feel like scrolling. What happened when she woke up? My grandmum woke up mid-job. Smacked my sister on the back of the head with her slipper. They sprung apart and ran away without saying a word. And the next morning everyone just acted like nothing ever happened. As far as I know, my grandmother never said a word about it to anyone where was I. I was in bed, sneakily reading Aragon and none the wiser, until my sister told me the next morning. I think these two instances perfectly encapsulate who we both were as a person lol. Hey I think I've seen this one before. Robbie, is that, I knew a girl in high school whose best friend's mom married her dad. Then the best friend and dad were caught fucking and it had been a whole thing. Both of them were really gross, so her friend fucked your friend's dad. So he fucked both the mother and daughter. Correct. My mother passed away, so my brother and I moved in with my father, stepmother and stepsister. My parents had a brutal divorce, so we were not very close to them this year. In fact, we didn't see my father for years. Fast forward, my brother, stepsister, stepbrother and I would play lights out as teenagers. Basically, turn the lights out and start beating the shit out of each other with pillows or anything we could find. I know it sounds like a sick game. Later, when we all played and wondered why I was not getting my hair pulled or punched, I turned on the lights and found my brother and stepsister making out. We stopped playing lights out, but my brother and sister were secretly seeing each until my stepmother found out. Edit. Grandma. The second part of the quest was the aftermath. My uncle married his stepsister when they were teenagers. 
They had four kids together and divorced. Years later my dad married her. She was his stepsister and younger brother's ex-wife. My cousins became my step-siblings. Uncle lived around the corner. Her kids did not like being told what to do by their uncle. My dad always felt like she treated me and my sister poorly. My grandma threatened to disown my dad several times for marrying her. They were together for about a year before stepmom couldn't handle dad's drinking anymore and he said he was sick of her kids disrespecting him and her not treating my sister and me good enough. We moved out but they stayed married for over 10 years. Cousin, step-siblings weren't as close with us after that and my sister and I were kinda considered black sheep of the family. Too bad, I liked being around my cousin so much and I thought my aunt, stepmom was cool. I was like 10 to 11 at the time though. I can't imagine what those two were thinking when they got together in the first place. Whole thing was confusing to say the least.